Finally, now is the time for our WMTO British title contest between Steve Donnelly and Jamie Knox, again over five two-minute rounds. Let me remind you of Muay Thai under European rules. Kicks allowed to the head, kicks allowed to the inside and the outside of the legs. Knees and elbows are allowed to the body only. No spinning back fists allowed, and the three knockdown rule applied. Fella Nathan's gym will be very, very well versed. So Steve Donnelly in the gold, and silver, and Jamie Knox in the red. Again, a good technical fight, good technical opening. Good opening here from Jamie Knox. So Jamie really beginning the opening very, very well. Steve Donnelly slightly slower. For this, the WMCO British lightweight title. Good kick there from uh, Steve Donnelly, but he just gets dumped on the canvas by Jamie Knox. So it's good opening here, so we can see Steve Donnelly, as we know, in the gold and grey or silver shorts, and Jamie Knox in the red. So again, good attacks here from Jamie. Seems to do the majority of work in this opening round. Really taking the fight to Steve Donnelly. So Jamie in the red has started very, very well to this, the WMTO British lightweight title. Yes, yeah, he looks very composed, doesn't he, Paul? They're both fighters are. They certainly are. Jamie seems to be starting out the fresher of the two, if you like. Steve Donnelly. As you see there, Jamie grabbing Steve's leg. Couldn't quite get into the middle of the ring to take him down. But I don't think we've really seen what Steve has to offer. Jamie again, doing the majority of the work. Again, just moving in and out, out of Steve's range. Both men, nice movement though, haven't they? Even Steve, his footwork's good. They are indeed. Steve seems to be commanding the middle of the ring with Jamie sort of quite happily just sort of skirt around the outside and far off the shots. Again, good team there from Jamie. Yeah, he, he's forced Steve to be a bit hesitant, hasn't he, Paul? Like we saw just there, he really didn't know whether to come in or not, did he? He didn't indeed. And Jamie Knox fires off those kicks. So I've got Jamie Knox slightly ahead in that opening round. Steve Donnelly not quite getting into his rhythm there. But I know the Sale West camp are very, very strong. They've got a very strong lineup of fighters. So they will be telling him, really, to sort of up the ante. And here, Jamie just coming in, Steve covering up completely. Nice shovel uppercut there, wasn't it? He just came in under a little twist to it. But Jamie certainly seems to be the more active of the two in that opening round. But again, in Thailand, it takes the fighters two or three fight, two or three rounds, really, to get the fight going. So, Jamie Knox, certainly for my money, he's taking that opening round. But again, we've got five rounds ahead of us. So there's a long way to go. So I think it's a bit of slight confusion there, being told that <laughs> the time was over, but they got a minute and a half. Second round, round two. So here we go, the second round of this WMTO British lightweight title. Steve will have to search some authority now. That's look what he's trying to do, doesn't it, Paul? It looks like. He's trying to get into this fight now. It does indeed. Jamie really taking the fight to him, though. Oh, 
we can see Steve Norrie, it's Jamie doing the most of the coming forward and the aggression. And Jamie takes Steve to their canvas. Jamie seems to do the more of the forward work, the more aggressive of the two. Obviously, that will score as well. Referee's looking for the more aggressive of the two fighters. He seems to have effectively stopped Steve developing any sort of a game plan, hasn't he, Paul? He has indeed, and as we saw there, he just grabs hold of Steve's leg. Three kicks to the inner thigh of Steve really went unanswered because Steve was tied up in the ropes. I mean, most fighters will go in with a set game plan, but at the end of the day, your opponent's got to allow you to do it or you've got to enforce that game plan on them. And at the moment, Jamie has not allowed Steve to do any of that. He has, and Jamie's doing all the work at the moment. Steve really getting tied up. Not sure really what to do. So Jamie, all of the work coming his way at the moment. You can hear his corner <laughs> screaming every time he lands those knees. They're going unanswered. And I tell you what, Steve Donnelly's do playing a dangerous game. If you put your arms down there to block those knees, you will very soon have a very dead arm. It seems to me, Paul, that at range, Jamie likes to box. He goes in with left and right, but as soon as he closes the gap, the knees come in and the low kicks. Those knees are having a big effect on Steve, we can see. He won't be able to take much more of those. He's leaning heavy on that right leg. He's got to get more work inside those knees. He can't block those. See how he's moving his body away when the knees are coming. There we see, that's down. That's going to have a big effect on him. He was leaning his body away from the knees. You can't do that. You've got to tie your man up. You can't. That's going to take a hell of a lot out of him. The pain was written all over his face, Paul. That right leg, as you so rightly said, has taken a battering. And really, he's got no answer to all the problems that Jamie's posing. He hasn't. I'd be very surprised if this one goes the distance. So he's not tying him up. He's got to get his leg around the back of Jamie, tie up the knee so he can't work those legs, and he's got to return fire. Otherwise, he's going to suffer, and he won't go the distance. The difference you can see is in the legs. Look at the spring in Jamie's legs there. He can't wait to get on with it. And I this is taking a terrible toll on him. Paul, can you see this being the round? If it stays like it's this? <laughs> there we go. There you've got the answer. Very surprised that's not the round. But we can see Steve Donnelly really in trouble early on in this fight. Jamie is really taking the fight to him. And we can see the bounce in Jamie's step. Like you said, his confidence is growing dramatically. There they are, Paul. He, he's like a radar here, isn't he, with, with these knees? He we, knows what he wants. You can see him leaning away from the knee there. You can't do that. You've got to tie the knee up or you've got to return fire with the knees. He's trying to lean away, and he gets taken down. And that will hurt. That will really dent his confidence, and that will really, really take his stamina down. Although the bell went, the referee continued with the count, so as far as we're concerned, when you've got to look at the judges, that's two standing eight counts in the one round. It is indeed, and I'm really going to... Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be this round. I expect to see Jamie take the fight to Steve, and unless something really, unless he really begins to fight back initially with those knees, I can see it not going further in the next round. Because Jamie has no reason to change his game plan, has he? No, he's worked fantastically successful so far. We've seen him really take the fight to Steve and overpower Steve almost in the ring. So as far as I'm aware, Jamie, Jamie Knox really has, is winning this fight by a huge margin. Quite rightly said. And I admire his stamina and his guts, but at the moment, as you said after that opening, Jamie's got straight back into his game plan. He has indeed, he's got to tie up the legs at the moment. He's putting the knee up, which is not sufficient. He's got to tie around the back, or he's got to start throwing his own knees in. Because he's, and again, he's losing this round on my cards. Came out blistering, but unless he can do that throughout the whole round, he's got another two rounds after this one. Again, sheer tiredness there, Paul. I notice now as well, Jamie started to take to the countering that right roundhouse with his own right hand. So as the roundhouse comes in, he's hitting him with the right hand and following up with a low kick to the shin. He is indeed. I think uh, Jamie trying to get, <laughs> trying to wrestle Steve to the floor, complaining because Steve had a hold of the ropes, stopped him from doing it. I think Jamie was maybe he's really, he was surprised by the opening of the third round, but that's all there we saw. Paul. There's the big that's knee. The knee to the midsection, huge knee to the midsection, the pain. He's not going to get up from this, Paul. It's all over. That's the third round, it's all over. It looks like Jamie has taken the fight. And there we see it. The referee stopped the fight. There's only two minutes, 34 seconds of round three.
with Steve Donnelly in no position to defend himself, your winner and new British WMCO champion, Jamie Knox. And to present the championship card to the new champion, one of India's finest entertainers, Mr. Pepe Lehani. Assisted, of course, by uh, Steve Gowney from Gowney Wines. And some of our upward from Asia Express. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Well, what a way to end the show. We'll be back next time as we continue to showcase the very best in Thai and kickboxing from around the country, featuring established and upcoming stars in fantastic, spectacular display of Thai boxing at its very best. I'm Malcolm Martin, and I look forward to being ringside with you again next time.